What made your ex terrible in bed? She thought it was my responsibility to do and initiate everything. Sometimes I wanna lay there and take it too. Like Simon and fuck me back. My ex was way out of my league. Still don't know how I got her, but man her butt crack was always dirty. She thought being hot was enough. No effort or enthusiasm needed. She was more concerned with whether a position looked sexy than if it felt good was fun. If a mirror was in the room she would focus on that. It was like fucking Patrick Bateman. Takes all the spontaneity and joy out of it. Don't date a narcissist. She was paranoid someone could hear us. Even when there was no possibility of an empty house, we were fucking camping in the middle of nowhere and she was worried about the animals, etc. As a result she not only stayed quiet as a mouse, but she'd get mad at me for making noise. Lights off always yet still would never do doggy style, because I can't see her face and I might be thinking of someone else when doing it. Nothing, my ex was amazing in bed. The other guy she had sex with while we were together will confirm. She had some sexual trauma, which is totally fine. Like one of the first times we had sex she shut down and went completely unresponsive. I stopped, we talked it out, turned into a nice bonding moment. But she also had a really high sex drive, and occasionally asked for stuff like choking. He'll admit to being rather vanilla in more of a cuddler, but I would give it a shot. But every time she'd lock up or freak out, want to stop, and then get angry at me after that it happened at all. And if I asked to keep things mellower so as to not stress us out, she'd get mad at me for not cooperating. I'd be sympathetic if she were just upset at my poor performance, but she was consistently horny and it was a coin flip whether there'd be drama. I feel for her, I hope she keeps working through her trauma, it's pretty clear she was lashing out at me because she felt bad. It also didn't stop her from wanting to have sex with other people. An interesting combination of him so horny all the time, but sex stresses me out. So let's stop combined with I want to have sex with other people to work through my problems. He thought his dick was a sacred magic wand that was supposed to satisfy me completely. He was jealous of my fingers, kinda upset when I put tampons on. But at least he recognized that the tampon thing was dumb. He was even once jealous of his own fingers, because while he was fingering me, I was enjoying it too much and that he felt I took more pleasure from his fingers than his dick. During a breakup I bought a sex toy and when we got back together, I told him. We were walking in the forest and he was so angry that he punched a tree. That's some of the main reasons. He was into kinks like BDSM and spanking slapping gruff sex, but did not believe in aftercare. Am fur if I let you slap me around in bed, yow'd better get me a snack and call me beautiful after. His fascination with his own cock. It's big isn't it? I think it's big. Girls always say it's big. Him such a nice guy, and him clever as well and you wouldn't think someone with such a big cock would be like that. Like he would literally break off in the middle of sex to admire his genitals, and tell me how awesome he was. No movement? She just lay there and made no effort. I had to be on top and he had to concentrate to get off. It would take him not exaggerating here hours sometimes for him to finish. Hours of me bouncing on his lap. And if I paused for even a moment to catch my breath or work out a cramp, head get mad at me because he was almost there, and now we have to start over. Blowjobs also took upwards of 45 minutes of continuous suction. It was miserable. He was also a sex pest and hassled me constantly. He never once got me off. When I heard he got married I felt so, so sorry for his wife. She would threaten our relationship if the sex wasn't good enough for her don't get me wrong. I think having good sex is an important part of our relationship, but not to be used like a threat. It should go without having to say it's important, and if it's not you can work together to improve it. Also the lack of foreplay was wild, she would just expect my dick to be fully erect and ready for her to use like im some sex toy. The amount of pressure she put on me surrounding sex was so high and incredibly unenjoyable for me. 7 inch but premature. I hate to use the weird terrible because it wasn't her fault. She had a medical condition that made sex very painful for her. I could basically only get the tip in. Her condition was functionally untreatable. She had a great attitude and was a very sexual person. The mechanics just didn't work out. I loved her. It's been 10 years, and it still genuinely makes me sad that things didn't work out over something she had absolutely no control over. Edit, it wasn't vagnismus, and I don't want to go into detail. I was vague on purpose. Lack of enthusiasm. I prefer active participation. Two people focused hard on pleasing one another is so much more fun than one dot. He thought his size was all he needed very dull. The fact that she shared it with dudes from work, the gym, and the daycare parents group. Low sex drive no interest in anything adventurous would reciprocate me giving her oral for a significant time by using her mouth for about 30 seconds. Starfish every time, and teeth, 